Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Global markets are resuming the slide again, even in the back of some positive uh, data within the US last night. Positive ISM numbers, good manufacturing, but Germany uh, kind of didn't do quite so well this morning, showing a, a real slide. Uh, thoughts being that the Russian uh, sanctions or the potential Russian sanctions will hit hard. Uh, there's a lot less business confidence in the, Euro in, in the Eurozone. US 30 there touched potential um, support at 16,400. Uh, last night bounced off there still floating around there today but most global markets are not showing much conviction uh, to recover this morning there seems to be a lot of weight um, and certainly pressure pushing these markets down look at the UK 100 um, breaking below 6666 uh, we're actually down below the low that we had just uh, on uh, on Thursday there last week next potential support is at actually at 6581 and uh, this looks like a kind of a uh, kind of a bugle formation that we're getting here with uh, extending highs but also extending lows potentially going to be prevalent um, and the Japan 225 uh, it's also come come off as about a percent down um, falling on from yesterday's quite quite aggressive sell-off uh, and this obviously is not uh, necessarily a dollar yen uh, shifted move um, we are looking at next potential support at 15, uh, 14 uh, 977 we're trading below the uh, 55 period SMA uh, certainly a lot of pressure on Japan 25 uh, looking at crude oil with Texas, it touched 97 yesterday before bouncing up. Um, we're now between two ranges, 97 and 99. Um, people should be looking at crude oil at these levels longer term. It's going to be, be it's going to be a benefit benefit for the global economy. The lower we get down, uh, people kind of look at crude oil as being like the fuel of the economy or kind of a taxation on the economy, I should say. Um, so if oil prices are low, it means you're paying less tax. If oil prices are high, you're paying uh, literally a higher tax because oil is so widely utilized across all commerce um, across the global economy. In fact, I actually missed out dollar yen right there. Uh, dollar yen, we've been seeing some interesting moves in the US dollar overnight, um, especially good against the euro, euro dollar. Uh, that's where a lot of people will be looking. Um, but the dollar in particular actually managed to get back up to uh, dollar yen, sorry, managed to get up to 102 spot 87 on the back of those pot better than expected results in the US but we're slowly kind of drifting back down again as it might be a little bit of safe haven yen buying I can see your yen's just absolutely tanked it as well um, uh, but potential resistance still remains at 102 spot 90 um, it kind of feels like any any slither of good news coming out of the US was because the dollar bills are still in play will help to propel the US dollar up higher um, and euro dollar is probably where a lot of the action is right now because of the state of the eurozone and Germany. So looking at gold, I had a little bit of a, of a kind of reprieve yesterday, kind of volatile session again. Um, stronger US dollar perhaps uh, pushing it down. I still think we're, we're probably in this uh, kind of wedge formation that we've talked about the last couple of sessions. Um, and we'll get a breakout one direction or the other. Um, certainly when there's this sort of level of fear in the market, you'd be thinking that gold would be doing quite well. Um, but a testament to the fact that it's not shooting up in the, in the positive territory that most traders should be looking at. 12.95 uh, is the potential resistance to keep your eyes on. So moving on to your dollar, uh, it's, uh, it's again moving lower. Uh, a negative session yesterday, negative session again today. Uh, I'm actually going to put this level on here at one uh, spot 33. That's the next potential support level on uh, the common currency, then followed by one spot 3193. Um, we don't have a huge amount of US data. We do have trade balance and UK industrial production uh, and uh, crude oil inventories, which will be interesting as last uh, crude oil inventories were uh, quite bullish, which added extra pressure to West Texas crude. Um, looking at cable, we actually had a bounce on Monday and Tuesday. Um, we are in the middle of two ranges right now that uh, economic data due out today for the UK will be uh, another driver for cable. We're in between two ranges right now, one spot 69.23 and one spot 68.20. And uh, if we fast forward on to tomorrow, the more German industrial production figures, that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, interest rate announcements in the Eurozone and the UK and jobless claims in the US. So there is a fair amount of fundamental still sloshing around out, out there. And uh, as I said, there is a, a little bit of pressure still looking to be um, found on the global equity markets. Keep your eye on the chart forum to get updates from our global analyst team. They'll be looking at things from a technical perspective for the next couple of sessions and make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.